Hey everyone, it's Brian. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to take powers of complex numbers and introduce the famous de Moivre formula. Here's an extremely famous formula when it comes to complex analysis. It's the de Moivre formula or de Moivre formula. And it says that if you have cosine theta plus i sine theta all to the n, that's the same as just having cosine of n theta plus i of sine n theta. So this works really well when we're gonna take powers of complex numbers. And this formula can be shown probably in many ways, um, certainly by induction. So here I've written z, a complex number, in its polar form. Remember that means r, which is really the length of the vector z, times cosine theta plus i sine theta, where theta is the argument or the angle the vector makes with the x-axis. Let's see what happens if I raise this to the power n. So here I've just taken both sides to the nth power, and I can use properties of exponents to sort of distribute this n to both of these things that are multiplied. So this will really be r to the n. So this is r to the n times cosine theta plus i sine theta to the n. But now that we know the de Moivre formula, I can apply the de Moivre formula to just this part, which means and with that formula, we now have a nice way to compute powers of complex numbers. We simply raise r to the n, we raise the modulus to the nth power, and we multiply the argument, the angle, by n. Let's do an example. So here I have the complex number z equals square root of 3 plus i, and I want to find this complex number to the ninth power. Now you could take this number and just multiply, by, multiply it by itself nine times, like doing FOIL, the distributive law, but that would be a real pain. So instead we're going to use the formula I just introduced and show you the real power of de Moivre's formula. I need to start by writing this number in its polar form. Remember that means r, which is the modulus of z, times cosine theta plus i sine theta, where theta is the argument of z. So here, the modulus of square root 3 plus i, remember that's just the square root of the sum of the squares, so this is the square root of square root 3 squared plus 1 squared times cosine. Well, let's see, what would the argument be? If this complex number is square root 3 in the x direction and 1 in the y direction, we make this sort of triangle, and I'm taking the inverse tangent of one over square root three to get theta. The inverse tangent of one over square root of three is pi over six. So this is cosine of pi over six plus I sine of pi over six. And here, I'll just simplify the radius, the modulus. Root three squared is three, 1 squared is 1, so this is really just square root of, let's see, four, uh, 3 plus 1 is 4, which is just 2. So this complex number in polar form is 2 cosine pi over 6 plus i sine of pi over 6. Now that I have this number in polar form, I'm ready to compute its power. So z to the 9th should be 2 to the 9th times cosine of, and now I introduce the de Moivre part, it's now just multiplying the argument, pi over 6, by the 9. So this is now just 9 pi over 6 plus i sine of 9 pi over 6. All I did to take the power was raise the r to the power, the modulus to the power. You can see that 9 a little better. Uh, well, I believe 9 pi over 6 is going to give me, let's see, I think that's going to be 3 pi over 2 if I divide the numerator and the denominator by 3. And you're more than welcome to compute this if you like. So I'm not going to do 2 to the 9th. You can check whatever that is with your calculator. But cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0. And sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. So this is just really minus i. And so our answer is minus 2 to the 9th i. That will be our number 
raised to the ninth power. In this episode, you learned how to take powers of complex numbers using the famous de Moivre formula. I hope you'll join me next time where we'll start talking about the opposite, how to take roots of complex numbers. If you're enjoying this series, please like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.